So for those of you who don't know, Kevin Spacey posted a video on YouTube yesterday called Let Me Be Frank. A three minute video in which he plays the character Frank Underwood from House of Cards and in which he ostensibly addresses the allegations of sexual assault and sexual misconduct. I know what you want. If you haven't seen the video, watch it. It's peculiar and we are going to break it down from a body language perspective now and that's the hook. For those of you who don't know me, I am Viva Fry, a Montreal litigator turned YouTuber. I've been making YouTube videos for about four years, pretty much daily for over two years, and occasionally I like to do body language interpretation because I've always been good at reading body language, but 10 plus years in commercial litigation allows you to hone that skill. Now when I first saw this video, I thought Netflix was attempting something of a quirky viral video to announce that Kevin Spacey was coming back to the show House of Cards as Frank Underwood. For those of you who have been living under a rock, Kevin Spacey was rocked by a series of sexual assault and sexual misconduct allegations. He was taken off the show. His character, Frank Underwood, was killed on the show. And I thought Netflix had thought that enough time had gone by in the collective memory of humankind that they could now bring Kevin Spacey back to the show and people would have somehow forgotten about all of these allegations of sexual misconduct. Totally wrong. In fact, Kevin Spacey released this video shortly after it was announced that criminal charges were being pressed against Kevin Spacey for sexual assault and sexual battery. And if you watch the video, it quickly becomes clear that this is not a Netflix production at all. If you pay attention to the background noise, you hear that it's that sort of chattering crowd stock sound effect that you get on iMovie. And at the end of the video, when it has that suspense, dun 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 dun. That's the generic suspense soundbite you get with iMovie. So quite clear from a superficial analysis of the video that it is no production value, has nothing to do with Netflix, but let's break down the body language in the video. Now, a lot of you are gonna say it's acting, so you can't do any sort of meaningful body language analysis when someone is outright acting because Kevin Spacey is not responding as Kevin Spacey, he's responding as Frank Underwood. Right and wrong. Now, just wrong, actually. Everyone is always acting. So the question is not what they are acting like, but what are they conveying through their acting? What are they intentionally trying to convey and what are they unintentionally or subconsciously actually conveying? Watching this video, the very fact that Kevin Spacey even chooses to address the allegations of sexual misconduct in character is itself telling. It means to some extent that he is not willing to address the allegations as himself. So the fact that he even chooses to do this video in character is itself revealing. Break right into this video. He's washing his hands in the first second of the video as though he's washing off his misdeeds, as though that's how you can cleanse yourself of your wrongdoings. And then he looks up and stares at you intensely. I've always said that in cross-examinations, when dealing with someone, if someone is staring at you too intensely, they are trying to feign confidence because they are actually trying to convince you that they are confident when they are not. Or they're trying to convince you of something that is not true. So the first thing about this video, having someone stare directly at me intensely indicates that they're trying to convince me of something that they don't necessarily believe, but that they want you to believe. The first line is, I know what you want. I know what you want. It goes hand in hand with the deep, unblinking stare, as though he is trying to tell you what you want as opposed to you actually telling him or revealing what you want. It's not really projection, because projection is sort of a subconscious seeing in others what you feel is true of yourself. This is sort of more like a mind game, trying to tell you through suggestion what the person wants you to believe by suggesting that that's what you want to believe in the first place. And Kevin Spacey, or Frank Underwood, does it multiple times in this video. I know what you want, but what we have is too strong, it's too powerful. I mean, after all, we shared everything, you and I, and you trusted me even though you knew you should. And he tries to play on your ego. You're smarter than that. And it's the classic thing that everyone always tries to do when they're trying to convince you of something that's not true. Flatter you and thereby distract you through flattery so that you're gonna be more amenable to believing what they say because they think you're smart. Suggest what you want to hear so that you subconsciously think that that's actually what you want to hear so that you're more likely to believe it when you hear it. Mm -hmm. oh, 
they tried to separate us. Kevin Spacey is trying to convince you that you always wanted him and that but for the forces that be you would still be together. But mostly I challenged you and made you think. But mostly I challenged you and made you think. As though he has somehow made you a better person and for that reason you have a bond and you can't be away from him because he makes you better. This is classic manipulation. Classic manipulation where someone is trying to convince you that you can't live without them and you should forgive them for their misdeeds because the relationship is so symbiotically beneficial to everybody that you can't live without them and that you're prepared to live with their flaws and their misdeeds and you trusted me. He is telling you what you thought so that you think it. In fact, all of these are overcompensation for the fact that they are not true. The fact of the matter is that most viewers did not learn that much from Frank Underwood. They did not have that much of a connection with Frank Underwood. He did not challenge them. But by suggesting it, it's sort of like flipping the script in your head like, maybe I did. Maybe I do like this guy more than I thought I did. Maybe I do need this guy. Maybe I can't live without this character in my life. But you wouldn't believe the worst without evidence, would you? You wouldn't rush to judgments without facts. Would you? You wouldn't believe the worst without evidence. You wouldn't jump to conclusions without facts, would you? Again, planting the seed of what he wants you to believe in your head so that possibly you'll believe it. Suggesting that anyone who has come to a conclusion has done so in the absence of facts. Suggesting that anyone who has come to a negative conclusion has done so presumptuously, prematurely, and without full knowledge. It's an amazing form of manipulation to undermine what he knows you might otherwise believe by suggesting that you are wrongly believing it. I have been through numerous examinations where the witness tries to do this very thing. No, you're smarter than that. No, you wouldn't be silly enough to actually come to your own conclusions because if you came to the conclusions that I don't like, it's because you don't have all of the facts. It's a great form of manipulation and it works on some people. When someone tells me that I'm smarter than that or when someone is stroking my ego, I start to ask myself questions as to why they're doing it. And in this case, it's quite obvious why they're doing it. They want you to come to a different conclusion and they think they're gonna get you to do that by bringing you closer, by flattering you, by planting the seeds in your head that maybe what you thought was wrong and maybe you should believe something else. Maybe you should believe me, Frank Underwood. I mean, if you and I have learned nothing else these past years, it's that in life and art, nothing should be off the table. In life and art, nothing should be off the table? What does that mean? To me, that actually sounds like an excuse for someone's wrongdoings. Well, in life and art, nothing should be off the table, so don't hate me as a person for what I've done in my personal life. Like I ever played by anyone's rules before. I never did, and you loved it. I never played by the rules before, and you loved it. Right now, this is an attempt to tell you what you think as opposed to discover actually what you do think. It is 101 psychological manipulation. Okay, and having watched it to the end, there's a part of me that really feels that Kevin Spacey is lost in the character and fundamentally lost in the character where he is not necessarily able to dissociate the character from himself. And having watched this, this actually views more like an audition video to Netflix and a suggestion to Netflix as to how they can bring Frank Underwood back to the show and have it make some form of sense. Almost like a plea to Netflix to bring back the character. Putting back on the ring and creating the suspense that you never saw him die so maybe he didn't die. Hey Netflix, maybe you can bring me back to the show next year. Look how good I can act. Look how much I play the character. It's a little disturbing. It's a little depressing. And the timing of the release of this video, shortly after the news broke that criminal charges are being laid against Kevin Spacey, is even more telling. I mean, this is sort of a distraction from the news, an attempt to manipulate people's thoughts, and a cry out to Netflix. Hey guys, look, people want me back now. Look how many people are viewing this video. This is how you can work me back into the series because nobody ever saw me die. So let's make this happen. It can be done. People would buy it. I don't think the collective memory is sufficiently short to ever allow Kevin Spacey back on. That is my analysis. Take it for what it's worth. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Health and happiness in the new year. Peace out.